Bob Flounders, Greg Pickle here at the Big Ten Media Days in Chicago in the world's biggest building. I don't even know, this might be 45 square miles around. It took us forever to get here. A couple of things, uh, takeaways from day one, Penn State's not here. First of all, Greg Pickle successfully survived Wrigleyville last night uh, and the Cubs game. It was close, touch and go. Greg, you made it, congratulations. Just like the Cubs. <laughs> Just like the Cubs. Uh, great weather down here, but yeah, uh, Urban Meyer and Ohio State, the story uh, on first day of the Big Ten media days, Greg, uh, you know, kind of had a little bit of breaking news. They're going to miss about four players, prominent players, for their opener against Virginia Tech on September 7th. Joey Bosa, the big name, uh, first team All-American. Urban essentially said, hey, he knew it was kind of coming for a while. ESPN reported it involves academics and possibly marijuana. Uh, but that's a good team they're playing. They beat them last year, and Urban's kind of in the mode where, you know, we're just going to move forward. We have a lot of talent. We've recruited well. Y your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, it's one thing to say you're going to do all those things, and it's another thing to do them. And I don't think you're going to realize it until Ohio State takes the field, and suddenly their defense is going to be a little bit different because without Bosa, you know, there's a, that changes a lot of things with that Ohio State defense. Does it make it a whole lot worse? No, probably not. But, it's, you know, it's it's something that a team that's looking to defend the national championship shouldn't have to deal with right. and doesn't want to deal with. But they're going to have to nonetheless. It, it's certainly a big blow. Now, Penn State fans know all too well about how good Joey Bosa is. He ended yeah. the overtime game last year with that sack of okay. Christian Hackenberg. Christian Hackenberg uh, is not here. He won't be here tomorrow. It'll be Jordan Lucas, Anthony Zettel, Angelo Marino, and James Franklin, no. Penn State contingent. But, you know, he did. his name did come up. Yeah. You know, there's comparisons with him and Connor Cook, who was here. But also, I, kind of, I found it quite interesting. We had a chance to talk to Matt Millen, a former Penn State player who's now with the Big Ten Network. Uh, Matt's got some real strong opinions on, on how good Christian really is. He told us top five pick in the NFL right now, and that he also is pretty, in his mind, he thinks Christian's going to be gone after this year. We'll see. Um, but also, one other thing uh, to note about Christian is you had a chance to talk to, uh, we both did, an Indiana defensive lineman named Darius Rayner. Yep. And, uh, you know, Penn State and Indiana play this year, yeah. and I would not consider uh, Rayner to be part of the Christian Hackenberg fan club. No, I wouldn't say so either. He was asked, you know, uh, we, asked, we talked to a couple of different players and coaches about Christian Hackenberg today. Rayner was one of them. And unprompted, he brought up the fact that he thought Nate Sudfeld, Indiana's quarterback who missed the last six games, or seven games, I guess, due to injury last year, uh, would have been six for in the air, they'd make a bowl, uh, was better than Hackenberg, and he continued and said that Hackenberg falls under pressure. So, yes, not not a part of the Christian Hackenberg fan club, but many people were here were, uh, you know, Matt Billen, Glenn Mason, uh, Randy Etzel as well. Uh, maybe not Randy Etzel, but he certainly, you know, sees a high level yeah. of play, you know, in the Big Ten. We're going to call we're going to call that a dissenting opinion on Christian, and yes. I have a funny feeling we're going to be bringing this up again when yeah. Penn State and Indiana play. But uh, very kind of surprising take, refreshingly honest. Yeah. Hey. But yeah, no the, holding back. <laughs> yeah. If, if you pulled ten people about Christian out here, nine of them would have had a lot of good things to say about Christian. But it was interesting to see uh, what Mr. Rayner had to say about him. That's day one of the Big. 10 Media Days. He's Greg Pickle. I'm Bob Founders. Penn State News will be coming fast and furious on Friday when they arrive. You guys take care.